Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Signal's Facebook Live. We are coming to you live from CPAC, and I am Genevieve Wood, and I'm joined here now at our booth by Donna Rice Hughes of Enough is Enough. Great to see you. Great to be with you. So you've been. You said you got here at CPAC yesterday. I got in. Yes, yesterday. What's been your experience so far with the crowd here? The crowd is energetic. And <laughs> <laughs> energetic with a capital E. They really yeah. have been. Have yeah. you been to CPAC in years past? I have. I'm, I've been to two before, and. Um, and I, I think it's great. I mean, we have a, a we're celebrating a victory. Right. That's, that's right. Are. That's right. Well, yeah. and there's so many different issues being talked about here. I mean, a, the repeal of Obamacare and all those types of things that many people are familiar with. But there's a lot of other issues going on. That's and right. one of the reasons I know that you came out supporting Donald Trump for president right. was a commitment he made related to fighting pornography and internet, uh, keeping the internet safe, safe for families. Yes, that's exactly. right. Tell us about that and what you expect to happen. Yes, well, um, going back to the Children's Internet Safety Presidential Pledge, we actually wrote that and sent it to Donald Trump uh, and to Hillary Clinton. And Donald Trump signed it right away, right before the GOP convention. Hillary sent us a letter of support. This is really historic that now we have a president, President Trump, who committed before he was elected to applying the rule of law to the Internet. Mm -hmm. And this is significant because we have had for the past eight years in the last administration some of the laws, particularly the federal obscenity laws, that uh, basically uh, deal with hardcore pornography mm -hmm. that have not been touched. The, the hardcore pornographers, that this is not protected speech we're talking about. Yeah. They've been given a free pass by the last administration, so this is a real big issue. But the pledge deals with that, the enforcement of those laws, sex trafficking laws, uh, child pornography laws, uh, sexual predation laws, and everything to, to really apply this rule of law because it's out of hand, as you know. Well, and, and this is one of those things where, again, it's not like you need Congress to step in and create new legislation. No, no. You just want the Justice Department, basically, to yes. enforce the laws. It's like Guns so many books. issues. Yes. Guns, <laughs> immigration. Yes. There's so right. many. They just, the laws are there if they would yeah. just enforce them. Well, that's exactly right. And, and we've had an administration that is cherry pick the laws that they want to enforce and ignore the others. Why would and they then, not want to enforce these laws? Why would anybody be opposed to fighting, especially pornography as it affects children? Well, that, that, it's a great question. And, and I believe one of the reasons is because it's so out of hand that to start to clean it up, and in fact, we've got a hashtag, drain the cyber swamp. Oh, drain love it. the cyber swamp. But you've got to start somewhere. Yeah. And one of the things that the hardcore pornographers, they know they're breaking the law. Every time we've got a new administration and a new AG, mm -hmm. they say, are you going to enforce the obscenity laws? Because they, so they know. know. They yeah. know. They know where to pull back and how to pull back. So, but they've really had an, a, a free pass, except under Ashcroft, even the Clinton administration. So I think that it's important that, first of all, that, that we, we now have this president who said yes, and he, he's, he started with Jeff Sessions. Mm -hmm. Jeff Sessions, in my opinion, was an excellent choice, is an excellent choice, and, and we have to start with, with applying the rule of law. But the pledge also asked for some other things. It asked uh, for the president to lead on private-public partnerships, because corporate America has a big responsibility, mm -hmm. and at Enough is Enough, the organization that I run, we've been working with corporate America for 20 years to comply with the law. They don't always, by the way, mm -hmm. um, and to establish best practices and better technologies to empower parents. And, and, and this is stuff like I was reading in some of your yeah. material. I mean, whether you're talking about McDonald's, you're talking about Starbucks, you're basically right. saying all these places that offer Wi-Fi, right. right, free yeah. to their customers, they weren't making sure that pornography was kept off of that. Is yeah. that right? That's right. And child pornography. And so there, there were actually instances in the, where the media was reporting that convicted sex offenders are, are going onto these public Wi-Fi networks, whether they're in a hotel lobby, mm -hmm. uh, like we're in here, or... Um, the the Wi-Fi here is not working well, so they won't <laughs> yes, have any so success here. <laughs> <laughs> or, or wherever the case may be, on an airplane, uh, anytime there's a public Wi-Fi access, and they can fly under the radar screen mm. of law enforcement, because now they're not on their own IP address, not to get too technical, so sex offenders were accessing child pornography, um, uh, contacting children on these Wi-Fi networks. Wow. And so when we shared all of this with McDonald's and Starbucks, and they also, those two companies, 
led the way in the United Kingdom. They were the first mm. companies to filter, but they're based here. So we said, would you lead in America, lead corporate America to, uh, to make Wi-Fi safe? Because this is a voluntary measure that they can do, and a lot of the U.S. companies haven't even thought about it. And we said, well, start thinking about it because it's in your best interest. You're protecting your brand. You're protecting your patrons. You're protecting your the people that work for you and these, you know, out right. there in public. I mean, that you don't want people tapping on somebody's shoulder and said, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, you can't look at that here. That's illegal. They, they don't know. That's not their job, right? Right. So, um, so we're in a good place, I think, now with Starbucks and McDonald's leading. McDonald's is filtering in 14,000 stores across the nation child porn and pornography and so we want to get you know get other hotel lobbies that's going to, to be get on board one as you yeah. said this is this is a public private there's a role for government yeah. but there's certainly a role, a role for corporate and private america well, to step at, up and make sure they do the right things and corporate america is going to pay attention to this they paid attention to this when prime minister cameron led the way in the united kingdom mm. and he said look we all have to get together on this and i'm really hopeful that president trump is going to do the same thing because he gets it as a businessman. Mm -hmm. And now you have his wife who has chosen cyberbullying as her right. platform. Perfect, perfect for her, I think, mm -hmm. because she has such grace and dignity and style. And she's been bullied. Her son's been bullied. Yeah, and they've got, that's right, they've got a 10 year old son. They've got a 10 year old right, son. Yeah. And th usually they've been off limits, the, the president's family. Not so. With not not family. with this one. One of the things that they also have been leading on or, or have already taken action on is the issue of sex trafficking. That's right. And again, this is something that many people, I think they hear that term and they think that happens over in Asia and it mm -hmm. happens other places. It's a problem in this country as Big well. Problem. And the White House has already, did they hold a, a meeting on this or a summit on this? Yes, they, they not a summit. They held a, a, a small meeting yesterday at the White House, which is going to be the first of many, I understand. Mm -hmm. I've been contacted by the White House that there will be another one, which um, we hope to, to, to be there. And let me say this, that the, the pledge that Trump signed did include sex trafficking as one of the key issues because we have to start looking at this sexual exploitation and exploitation of children and women specifically as one big problem. Mm -hmm. Trafficking is connected to pornography, it's connected to the sex industry, it's connected to child pornography, all these things are, are connected, they're interwoven. Mm -hmm. So you really have to have a comprehensive plan and program, and we've actually put a plan together and submitted it to the administration um, on, on what needs to happen initially to start to pull back and, and to curb the crime on the internet, because this is crime. It is crime. It is yeah. crime. Well, you're doing great work. We Thank hope that, that the administration will continue to do great work in this area. For people who want to know more about Enough is Enough, how do they find out more mm -hmm. information? Yes, please. Um, um, come to our website at enough.org, that's enough.org, and we also have set up a citizen's pledge there, and we're asking people to sign that, first of all, to say, I'm going to do my part as a citizen, as a parent, to make sure my kids are safe, but I also want to send a message to the Trump administration to say, we support you on this, we're behind you on this, please continue to lead on this and do what you said you were going to do in the pledge. So you can find that at enough.org. Great. Right. Thank you very much. Thank Donna Rice Hughes for being with us, and thank you all for joining us as well. We're going to continue to bring you more interviews live here from CPAC, so stay tuned right here at The Daily Signal. Thanks, everybody.